move an object from a photo. That's one that I get asked all the time. So let's go to this one. Now, these photos I got came from iStock Photo. So some of these are shot myself, like the one of Donnie we just closed. But some of these are iStock, and they will say iStock up here if they are. And that number, if you were to search for this number, you'd actually find that photo and you'd be able to do exactly what I'm doing so you can work along with me. Um, and but the fact that it's an iStock photo, you know that you can download it and therefore there are no tricks behind, behind this. So I just wanted to make sure you knew that. So let's go ahead and now we want to do two things. First, we want to remove the kid from the photo. We just want the mom. So the way we would do that is we have to make a selection and there are all kinds of selection tools in Photoshop. There are your um, marquee tools, there's your lasso tools, there's your quick selected magic wand, you have the pin tool down here somewhere, there it is. So you have all these tools to make selections and of course you will become comfortable with whichever tools work best for you. I'm going to cheat and start with the easy one, the one that is called Quick Select. So when you see an arrow to the bottom right of a tool, that means that that tool has more than one tool underneath it. So you may be on Magic Wand and you're saying, where's Quick Select? You just hold down Magic Wand, go to Quick Select, and you can switch. Now Quick Select is as the name implies, it allows me to make a quick selection. So I can go through and select him, but I'm also going to need to remove his shadow too, so that we would never know he was there. And just like that, quick selection identifies the pixels that are similar and makes a selection. But in order for me to do this effectively, I need to bring that selection out all the way around him a little more. So we're going to use a technique called Select, Modify, Expand. And I'm going to expand it by, and you know, you'll have to guess at your number because it depends on the resolution of your photo. But for this one, I'm going to use 10. And that just move the pixels or move the selection out by 10 pixels all the way around. Now we're going to use some Photoshop magic that was introduced in CS5 and of course is in CS6 called Content Aware Fill. Now you can bring up Content Aware Fill as long as you're on the background, you're not on a layer, by just hitting your delete key on the keyboard. That will bring up your fill dialog box. And the first time I recorded a video showing Content Aware Fill, I must add a million comments to say whenever I hit delete it doesn't work or when I do I don't have a delete key on my keyboard because I'm in a different country or I'm on a PC or I'm this or that. So here let's let's just cancel. If for whatever reason delete doesn't bring that up for you, go to edit fill. It's the same thing. So delete just as the shortcut to bring that up. So now that we're on fill and make sure you're not on one of these other options, you're on content aware, we click OK. And Photoshop will use the surrounding pixels to fill that in. And that's the beauty of it. Now, did it do it perfectly? No, I can see some little spots around here or highlights of the head because I know he was there. So now you can use your other methods that we just talked about to simply get rid of those. And now they're gone. And now that one's gone. And now he's gone. 